hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how we can remove mesh data from our skeletal meshes uh, we can open our skeletal mesh and mesh morpher and we have this button here remove mesh data uh, in preview versions this was called uh, remove sections but we improved it and uh, this is how it looks now we have a preview uh, for our actions here so if uh, we want to remove uh, for example uh, the eye right we select eye right and remove right uh, for the eyelashes for example on different LODs if we switch to LOD2 or well, we we can see that the eyelashes have a different name right so we would remove first the eyelashes for example and then after we remove the eyelashes we would jump to LOD2 and select this as well right and remove it so uh, we won't uh, do that we will uh, keep it uh, just uh, for our test here we will remove the eyes for example uh, let's uh, select the eyes click on remove and we will see that in preview they are removed but they are not yet removed from our skeletal mesh we have a preview now so we can see that uh, we removed uh, exactly what uh, we wanted and uh, that our skeletal mesh looks uh, correctly right so if uh, we are satisfied with the results, we click apply, right? Now uh, our skeletal mesh has no eyes. And if uh, we open this skeletal mesh in persona, we will see that it has no eyes here either, right? If we go to asset details, we will see that uh, the eyes uh, materials are gone from our mesh and uh, the entire mesh data is gone, right? right? So uh, let's uh, move a little bit forward and uh, let's create a new uh, morph target. And we will attempt to remove a selection. Let's open this morph target here. Open any tool, toggle selection, and just make any selection here, right? Uh, after you made your selection, just uh, go to edit, selection, save selection as, and just pick a name, and click save. Uh, if uh, we close this and we go back to remove mesh data, we will be able to select our uh, standalone uh, mask selection right uh, this will look exactly as uh, what uh, we had in uh, uh, morph target uh, editor so now that uh, we've selected our asset we will see that we can't select any section anymore and uh, we can't change the uh, uh, lod uh, index right this selection will be applied to all LODs automatically, right? So let's uh, let's see how it looks. This is how it looks. Uh, uh, we remove the mesh and we are satisfied in preview. And then we can click apply. Now that uh, our mesh uh, uh, has been uh, modified we can test our morph target and we will see that our morph target works exactly the same right uh, we are not uh, our morph target is not broken because of uh, vertex indices changing right so uh, this is good let's check uh, with an animation in persona and uh, let's uh, go to preview scene the specific scene and let's select our animation here and we will see that our mesh functions correctly with animations as well so this is it for this video guys i hope you like this uh, new uh, functionality in mesh morpher the ability to remove a selection a vertex selection or a material selection and uh, the ability to preview before removing right so this is it for this video guys and see you around bye